All right, so from what you can remember, um, what was it like to be a female at school? I'm trying to picture myself at school. Was it important? We went to uh, all females in the school. There was, it wasn't a mixed school that I went to. There wasn't, there wasn't a distinction between male and female. I think it was more a social distinction. Like either you, you had money or you didn't have money. And I think that's where the distinction came in. The, because you went to a, we went to a co-ed school run by nuns. And it just felt like if you were rich, you, got, you had you know, better treatment. But it didn't matter whether you're a male or female. Um, for us, it was it was all equal because we were had um, I was in a mixed school, so it was it was fine. It was actually really easy. Are you happy there's going to be boys at school or not? Um, yes. So you would like to go to a, a school that's got girls and boys, or just all girls? Um, I like a school a school that has girls and boys. Oh. And did your parents encourage you to go to school and get a good education? Yeah, my, my father was very keen on my education. But I was, <laughs> I was so dumb that I, <laughs> that I didn't, didn't learn very well, did I? Yeah. So I was more I was more domesticated than they know give me housework and things like that. Ah. Rather than study. And so, okay, so having said that, so did your idea of going to school mean it was gonna make you smarter to improve a career or were you just gonna be a educated housewife? It was important to to have education. There were no pathways set for jobs or careers. Nothing, nothing was in place for that. You, you didn't have, like, you know, study these subjects and then you become this or take, you know, take this road or that option. There, there wasn't those options given to you those days. You just, you just went to school and you just did the curriculum and then you passed out of school. And if you, if you were, um, if you spoke the language, you went to university. If you didn't, you went to commercial college and you studied shorthand and typing so that you'll get a job in an office. But that's it. There wasn't really much to choose from. You were either a hospitality worker, which is, or a, or you worked in the hospital, either as a nurse or a hospitality worker, or you worked in, worked in an office. No, I always wanted to be educated although it was probably dad driving the higher education for me more than anything because I actually only ever wanted to be a hairdresser so um, for me it was just getting through that to then be a hairdresser but um, it was just a challenge for me just to get my grades up because I always struggled with it so for me it wasn't yeah I never really thought of myself as just going to be a housewife. And so but that so that was a whole vocational thing where basically if you you could leave in year 10? Yeah, so I just only did as far as year 10 so that I could then leave to be, to get an apprenticeship in hairdressing. And you didn't think, you didn't see a need to go into university to do anything? No, for me it was a waste of time to go to university. That was the fight I had with my parents. Um, that There was no point because it was just two years extra and then I would have been too old because at that stage they'd only take you as an apprentice when you were 16. So if I had a stayed on to uni, I'd have been too old. I want to be a nurse. A nurse? Do you think you have to go to school to be a nurse? Uh, no. You don't think you need to go to school? What? I do sometimes. 75 years ago, did you ever think what school would be like in 2012? I don't think I gave it a thought, Grant. Yeah. That's all right. I didn't want to think. I didn't. I didn't think about what it was going to be like. It was just. It, it was a. It was a system where, you know, the the ones that I went to, the the convent school run by, by by nuns, and were 
not very nice, some of them. And, and I suppose they, were, they had their own issues. So. It wasn't a pleasant experience. I can't remember being happy to go to school, so I didn't really think about it. It's been about 29 years. <laughs> so um, did you ever consider what schools would be like in 2012? No, I have to in be the honest, future? no, I didn't really at that stage. And can you please count 1 to 10 in Mandarin? E, E, San, Su, U, Leo, T, Ba, Jo, Shi. And how about in Spanish? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, cuatro, yes. Okay, and the last question is, what was the most sophisticated piece of equipment or technology you had in school? What was the most advanced piece of equipment you used, that you used? Was there any new inventions? Chalk. What did you write on? What did you say? Chalk. Chalk. What's chalk got to do with it? The black one. <laughs> no? Did you have... Did you write on? Did you write? Did you have, did you have television? Did you have video? I didn't have video, video. Nothing. Nothing. I did. Mm. Just textbooks. We just had the ordinary... What the teacher wrote on the board. And that's what we learned off the board. Mm. When I was in, in my first school, when I was in the, in the kindergarten stages, we changed from slates to exercise books. That was the biggest change. And then nothing changed after that. What else did we have? Probably we changed from... They didn't even have computers or anything those days. So there was no, nothing innovative in their teaching? No. Right, well, it was a very exciting time for us because we had uh, one electric typewriter in our typing class. Everyone had, we all had like the old ones and we had one that we were all allowed to take turns to use. <laughs> Do you know how to use an iPad? You do know how to use an iPad. So you can turn it on? You turn it on with a little circle and then you press again with a square on it and it starts. Sometimes it takes a while to press it. Mm -hmm. When you press it, um, I press a game, a keep game, but it went to something else. But and do you, um, do you prefer to play on an iPad or draw a picture with a piece of paper and a pen? Um, play an iPad. Ah. Mm -hmm.